Okay, back again. Let's finish this terrain. First, please allow me to be polite and thank to everyone who has given 5 star rating for terrain mixer or even 4 star. That's also acceptable. Thank you for this. It really means a lot. And of course, this will motivate me to make terrain mixer even better tool for you. talking about terrain mixer let's go back to blender if you remember at the end of the last video i mentioned that i want to use the rocker node for that let me first drag and drop one of the mixer nodes and that will be terrain mixer here now i'm gonna drag them all the way to here and organize this a bit just to have more space to use we'll do this move it here move it here this terrain mixer node will go somewhere around here i'll leave rocker here for now this one i don't need and i will keep distortion master because i have some plans for it let's first see how will we organize this here oh yeah i also need one other node and that's from the mass category i want to use canyon you have already seen what it can do i think it was in the first or the second video so let's drag it here and let's give it a nice color something also green grayish with a bit of yellow and a bit darker like so so i'm gonna mix these two terrains with the help of the terrain mixer node actually i don't need it I, i've already joined them like so so i'll i'll use this node for masking purposes yeah this could work and then we're gonna put the second terrain here in the base socket and then we can we can check what we got if i enable this here and then control shift here okay this is that and this is that here we will set the inputs to switch and enable mask switch and we're gonna use the canyon for the mask we have to map it so we'll plug it here into the vector and then output goes here into the mask let's see what we have now if i plug this here and i will disable this preview now let's see the setup for the canyon and for the terrain mixer node so we'll increase this to four also this a bit to point four maybe and of course increase the mask factor all the way to maybe 0.9 let's enable the viewport shading and this is what we have so far if you remember i wanted to use the rocker in combination with this canyon mask but before i do that i will rotate the mask a bit so let's set this angle to something like this maybe or like this we can always adjust it no problem there now let's see with the rocker i can connect it here and we're gonna use the same mask the canyon mask for the rocker as well let us use this co default color mix node and plug the rocker in the a socket use mix here and then plug the canyon mask as a factor will look something like this which is very very interesting because of all this light area here the terrain would lift and we just want to have the rocker effect here where the canyon is so because of it i will make this b value down all the way to black and now we should only see the rocker effect where the canyon is let's even use the strength node to decrease the rocker value we can make it stronger if we want to so the scale is set to 0.1 and we can make it 0.3 in case we want bigger rocks or make it smaller than that then we can set this to 0.1 because we don't need much of distortion and let's see now what we have we won't see anything yet because we haven't combined it with the mountain and the sand and the canyon here we will do that now so let's just copy this mix node plug this here and plug this here and then plug everything here now you see where those rocks are we want to change the strength so 
0.8 for example okay now if we change this to add or exclusion we will see how it affects the current terrain too strong so we can lower this down something like this okay so this looks interesting now before we do the test render i want to make some more adjustment to the rocker so let's scale like so and value maybe lower it down to 0.7 and now let's disable this switch here and i want to go to the render settings film and enable transparent now we can do the test render as you can see we have something interesting I'm still not happy with the effect of the canyon because it's not so pronounced and I think I'm going to rotate it to uh, and guide it more towards the center of this big hill or the mountain. You see the effect and how we can combine different types of masks. So let's see what we can do with it. Here it is. Maybe like so. We can pronounce it, make it a bit wider. Also, we can lower down the strength of, no, the wrong one, like so. Maybe even change the scale a bit. Okay, this looks interesting enough. I can imagine a cave here, which we won't do in this video. Now let's save it and let's see uh, what do you need to do to make a first step towards the printing of the terrain and that is applying your geometry nodes modifier so you just go here apply and you see the terrain here if you press tab you will also see the mesh now the thing is that this doesn't have enough details so let's go back and do this and press apply And now you have a terrain with all the details you ever wanted. Okay, I might adjust the design of it a bit. I won't do it in this video. Wow, look at me, I just lied. I will do it for this video. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this distortion master. So let me just use the same UV mapping. And let's see how I can affect the terrain with it. I might do it for this one. Not exactly what I wanted. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to use the mix. Place it here for now and just change it to mix instead of add then I'm gonna plug it here and then I'm gonna plug this one here and then I'm gonna oh wow so we, we did get something crazy but this is too crazy for me let's not do it like that let's keep this here and let's plug it here interesting as well oh yeah now this is something i must admit that those desert dry waves don't really match with this here but who knows let's do a quick render to see if it works oh thank you so much for watching